No, no. Ma'am, through the chair, please. Naomi. Well, the question was, do, do we believe that the UVF is still on ceasefire? And I have to say that no, I don't believe it. And neither do many of my constituents who are living in fear of the UVF in East Belfast, who are being intimidated and threatened by the UVF in East Belfast, and who are coming to me seeking my help about that. Now, we can talk about who's responsible. I think it's actually the Secretary of State on the advice of the PSNI who has to call whether or not ceasefires are still in place or not. But the reality on the ground is what counts as far as the people who live in those communities are concerned. And they don't believe after the very brutal attack on someone like Gemma McGrath, who, will, who, we, who we hope will walk again. But there's no guarantees around that. When you see a young child of 15 shot in the legs who might lose their limbs, that's child abuse. I mean, I'm not discounting those who took a bomb into the city centre and left it and could have caused absolute carnage in our city centre. I don't discount that, nor do I argue we shouldn't hold those people to account. But no one is arguing that those people are on ceasefire. No one is arguing that those people are not engaged in active terrorist activity. My problem is when we try to create a smokescreen that says elements within, and this is the language that is being used, elements within the UVF are linked to or responsible for. If the UVF are behind these attacks, we need clarity around that. And we also, I believe, need to shine a light on those attacks where it is clear that former Republicans, mainstream Republicans, have been working with dissident Republicans because it's been clear from some of the devices, for example, that have been planted yeah. that that technology has been passed on. Right. We need to shine a light on all of that. And my, my ask of government has been that they will put in place the kind of reporting that we had when we had the, International Mo the Independent Monitoring Commission <coughs> to look at the activities, both those that are criminal right. and those that are terrorist. Okay.